This week on Hashtag Taiwan, I once again am coming to you from an RTI studio. Now, for those of you that missed last week's show, I'm doing this because Natalie, Andrew, and I are trying to maintain social distance. Now, as always, I would like to assure everybody out there who misses me that I'm fine. Anyway, the hot topic of this week is the interview clip with Assistant Director General of the WHO, Bruce Aylward, you were shown earlier. Now, for how unusual and bizarre and blatant it was, it drew a huge response in the media and online. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'll give you an abridged version right now. A journalist from radio television Hong Kong interviews a WHO official. The journalist asks a question about Taiwan. The WHO official pretends not to hear the question. The journalist repeats her question. The WHO official turns off the call. Now, Johan Vorster said it best when he said, wow, that was uncomfortable. My favorite part of the interview is when Bruce Aylward first hangs up the call, leaving the journalist Yvonne Tong to sit there, maintaining an expression perfectly balanced between professionalism, befuddlement, and an emotion that I can only describe as, did that really just happen? Really? Did that just happen? Is that for real? I'm going to start off with a comment from former RTI English team member Charlie Storer. He posts, Oh, we're just about to go into a tunnel, said Aylward before his words gave way to an unconvincing white noise. <laughs> no one is buying into Aylward's charade that he had a poor internet connection. In fact, the only thing people seem to buy is the possibility that Aylward has been bought out by the Chinese government. Now, during my research, I saw a lot of references to a money symbol behind Aylward, and it wasn't until later that I realized people were talking about the WHO flag behind Aylward during the interview. On it, there's an insignia that actually resembles a dollar sign. Now, people might take this as a cynical symbol of how the WHO has been bought out by the Chinese government. Now, Aylward is Canadian, and he, for his actions, he's actually drawn the ire of his fellow Canadians. Peggy Ann Vince says, I live in St. Albert, Alberta, Canada, and I can say we as a people that are informed cannot believe the hypocrisy of WHO not to acknowledge Taiwan's great job in this international pandemic. It should be evident to anyone that they are not part of China. Now, James Kung goes one step further and says, as a Taiwanese, he's the rudest Canadian I've ever seen. This entire fiasco has just been so strange and almost comical that people are memeing the situation. Jo Lin Xie tagged her friend Sharon Su in a post saying that the entire interview was like when you ask your man, what are we? The joke is that when a girl tries to clarify her relationship with a man, the man just tends to kind of ignore it or walk away. Now, admiration for Yvonne Tong, the journalist, is skyrocketing. People are asking where they can follow her. Now, I actually have her Twitter handle for you right here. It's Yvonne underscore TG. Now, that's all I have for you this week. Until next week, stay safe, stay healthy, and Andrew and Natalie, stay away from each other.